Hello everyone, Kevin Gerkley here from Tech Formality, the blog that focuses on tech guides, tech news, and tech reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 360 total security as requested by several of my subscribers. Um, so we're going to be putting this through a test of uh, different malware, uh, ransomware, uh, key loggers, trojans, all kinds of different um, malicious software out there. So we're going to see how this actually performs. And uh, we're going to go over a brief overview here shortly of the features that are included in the free edition. That is what we are testing the free edition of this software. So if you stick with me here for just a few minutes, we'll go ahead and get started here with the review. All right, so we are back here, and uh, as I had mentioned previously, this is the free edition of the 360 Total Security platform. Uh, for those of you who do not know about 360 Total Security, I did a little research on it. It is a Chinese-based antivirus, um, so it is, uh, it's been on the market for a little while now. Uh, you can go to their website and read about it if you want to get more information from it. Um, but the Total Security solution that we are going to be testing is like I said, the free edition that comes with um, several features. Uh, there's a full check feature that um, determines the health of the computer and safety from one click. So it does basically a vulnerability scan for your computer, um, fixes temporary files or removes temporary files, does any speed up process or anything like that that it needs to do as well. So that's, that's a benefit there. Now the virus scanning capabilities, um, as you can see here, uh, integrating award-winning antivirus engines from 360 Cloud Scan Engine, 360 QVM2 AI Engine, QEX, and Kunpeng to provide you with ultimate uh, in virus detection and protection ca uh, capabilities. So it does have quite a few uh, different engines that it does use for scanning, so that's a benefit there. Um, speed up, uh, it's a feature that allows you to optimize your computer and get rid of those uh, <coughs> pesky unwanted processes. Cleanup is more like a C cleaner tool where it uh, removes your temporary files, removes junk, um, any kind of uh, files that are slowing down your computer, filling up your space that you don't need anymore. Uh, so that's basically built into the platform. Uh, there's a protection which has four different user modes, uh, performance, balance, security, and custom, and we will go over all those here in a few minutes. Um, and then their top rated tools that they have uh, the Wi-Fi security check, the sandboxing feature that they have, and also a patch up. So it does provide you with the latest updates for your Windows operating system uh, whenever those security updates are coming out and it lets you know when to go ahead and download those. Uh, so as I said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this is the interface of the platform. Um, right now I do have the protection off. So if you click on the top left here, this brings up your protection screen. And as you can see here, um, there is a security protection and an advanced protection. If you click on advanced protection, they do have a paid version of this. So you can actually click on that and purchase it if you wish. Um, in the, so we will enable this really quick. And as you can see here, if you go to configure, these are the four modes that we were just talking about performance. Basically these will add and remove different features as you click on these. So performance will remove the bottom features. This will include basically all the features that are listed below, but it doesn't, um, it's not like a balanced or higher security. It's more of a performance grade for a system that's <clears throat> running low on resources or something such as that nature. Uh, so the balanced mode actually adds a lot more features here. Um, and you can see here that it uses, um, it has webcam protection, ransom blocking, downloaded file scans, online shopping protection, malicious website blocking, USB drive protection, malicious, malicious behavior blocking, registry protection, network threat blocking, file system protection, and scan file when saved. Um, now these are their different layers that they have. Um, and there is a Kun Pang scan engine that you can turn on. Uh, that is not on by default, so we're not going to turn that on. Um, security gives you a little bit more um, so it just adds as you go through uh, we're just going to run it on the balance because that is default so that's what we're going to keep ours on and we will test with the uh, balance mode and see how it does uh, on the left here here's the full check button where you can actually scan your computer um, for vulnerabilities and resolves issues with security 
um, in performance issues with this button here. Uh, virus check, uh, self-explanatory there. It does go ahead and let you do a quick scan, full scan, or custom scan. And here at the bottom, you can see that these are all the engines that are on. I'm not sure why they don't have this uh, Kun Peng engine on. We'll go ahead and turn that on, actually, and uh, it actually downloads and installs it. So as you can see, it's downloading and installing that additional shield. Um, so if it is offered, it takes one click. So it did go ahead and install it. So we'll go ahead and just test with that as well, since it is available. Um, over here on the left side, speed up, you will see that there are different um, applications here. You can go in and modify your startup items, schedule task, application services, service or system services, auto run plugins. Um, you can change all of this stuff around if you wanted to. Cleanup is the cleanup tool that removes unwanted system files, such as temporary files. Um, the toolbox on the left here, <coughs> excuse me, the toolbox on the left here is um, additional programs that are available. So as you can see, there are quite a few programs here that you can download. Some are free, some are premium. If you see this little crown next to it, these are premium. Um, so you can actually click on these additionally and download them. Uh, there's a ransomware decryption tool here that is free. Um, the sandbox is free. But we already have the sandbox installed as it installs with the total security 360 platform. Um, instant setup. So you can get out through and install basically any of these features if you wanted to add those to your, uh, your platform here. So then the account tab is the last one. And as you can see here, there is a, an ability to upgrade to premium here. Um, and with the premium edition, you get the driver updater privacy anti-tracker, uh, system disk slimming, file as attack protection, desktop organizer, and firewall. So you do get the firewall included in that. That would be the only feature um, that stands out to me right now that I can see. Uh, so the firewall is definitely a benefit to have there. And then back on the fire skin page, I did notice a few more buttons down here. Uh, there are cloud analysis. So basically you can upload files and uh, share with the 360 total security team so that they can analyze the files. Here's your quarantine box. Here's your sandbox, ransomware decryption tool, and your firewall. So as you can see, the firewall is a premium feature, so it won't let you do anything. Um, the sandbox we do have though, and the virtual sandbox is enabled. So whenever you run a file, for example, if you right click here, you can run in 360 sandbox. Uh, so it is a good feature to have there. It's always good to have that sandbox for an unwanted or unsure application that you're trying to run. All right, so that basically runs down through and um, we will go ahead and check for updates really quick on the platform just to make sure we are fully up to date. And then we will go ahead and get started with the test. And as I said, we do have some malicious URLs um, and you can see here, it's actually downloading upgrade. There are some malicious URLs that I have. There is some Trojans, uh, ransomware, different types of key loggers. So there is quite a bit of um, different threats that I do have downloaded. Then they are all zero day. I did get them just prior to starting this video. So we are up to date now and we should be good to go. Uh, we are protected and protection is on and we are set to the balanced mode, um, which is the one that we want because that is default. And we will actually turn this scan engine on as well, just so that we can use it to its full ability as it's available to us. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we do have this folder here with uh, 25 um, malicious programs and applications that I have downloaded. Um, we will do them in a certain order. Um, we are going to hold these ones off for the last, the ransomwares, just in case we do get encrypted. We will go ahead and see how we can do with just the regular programs to start with. So let's go ahead and get started.
So uh, we are finished here with the malware samples. We went down through and ran all of them. Um, as you can see, there were some pop-ups that were stating to block. Um, so it does have some kind of feature that does allow you to block the connections from being uh, made. It actually was trying to get tasks to be scheduled. Um, so it did actually block a lot of those. Um, so as you can see here, there are a few things here. There's a virtual basic command line that's running in memory. Um, there's this malware that we actually ran. Um, but a few of those that were actually running were blocked after it popped up. So that's actually good to know that, that it is blocking those. So let's go ahead and actually close this out and run a full scan on this total security folder. And we will see if this, so yes, it did find three more uh, items. So we'll go ahead and resolve and it did remove those. And we will go ahead and just double check. And there are four items left. And these items uh, possibly, I know some of them did not run. Let me check, go ahead and try running them again just to double check. So I believe these are the ones that all got through already. So yes, those all did run. And as you can see, we can run them and they are all still in memory. Um, that client built.exe was also one of the ones that we ran. So these are all actually still running. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight threats that are currently running. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually going to go ahead and as you notice, the ransomware files are gone. So that is good to know. And you can see here there's another pop-up adding suspicious task. Um, if you do not initiate this task, block it immediately. So it's trying to, uh, the process is trying to create a task in the task scheduler. So that's nice to know that that feature actually exists. And um, as you can see, one of those processes have gone away. So uh, what we're going to do now is actually going to go into the virus scan. And we are going to start a full scan and let this run through. And once we are finished with this, uh, we will go ahead and run the second opinion scanners with um, Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro. And we will see what we come up with. So uh, if you give me just a few minutes here, I'll go ahead and pause. And these are going to continue popping up. So I will continue. As you can see, this one is a backdoor. So it's trying to download a suspicious Trojan. So we'll go ahead and block that as well. And you can allow it if you want to. But clearly it's all in red. And it's telling you it is recommended to block this. So you will want to block that threat. So we'll go ahead and block that. And we'll let the scan finish. And we'll be back here just in a minute. Okay, we are back and the scan took about 20 minutes or so. And as you can see, it did find one uh, item that was in the temp files. Uh, this is a roaming, uh, looks to be some kind of Trojan. So we'll go ahead and hit resolve on that and we are complete. And as you can see, it did remove that one item. So we will go ahead now and I'm gonna change things up a little bit. As you can see here, just looking really quickly, this item is still running in memory um, as well as the client built.exe. So those two items are still running in memory that are malicious. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the um, MZSoft emergency kit scanner and see how this actually performs as I've never used it before. Um, but I've heard some good reviews, so we're going to go ahead and run a full scan with it and see what it comes back with. In addition, we will run a malware byte scan. And to finish it off, we'll run a Hitman Pro scan just to see what we can find. So let's go ahead and make sure we have the latest updates for this. Once that finishes, uh, I will go ahead and click Smart or Scan and Clean, and we will go ahead and start scanning to see what we can find. Um, we can actually do a malware scan as well, so that's that's good. We can probably go in here and do a full scan as well to the C drive. Um, yeah, so this would be what we want. So once this updates, we will go ahead and go ahead and click on that full scan, and we will be back with you here in a few minutes. Okay, so the MC soft scan finished and found zero items um, cleaned or detected zero, so that actually did not find anything. Um, on the malware bytes side of things, I did run a full scan there, and it did find five items. So five of those or four of those items were in the malware samples folder. And the other one was actually in the app data folder. So it was one that was in roaming that actually had ran already. And it's just a remnants left over. Uh, surprisingly, it did not find anything running in memory. Because I do know that those threats are still running in memory. If we just look really quickly, we can see. Uh, here's one of them here running. And the client build is still running. So those two are still running in memory. Um, 
and I did look up all four of these threats and confirm they are malicious and being detected by other AVs, so they are most certainly uh, legitimate and malicious. Uh, so that was five items. And then on the Hitman Pro scan, it found four items, which were those f uh, three of the four out of this malware folder. And the last one was also the roaming folder. Uh, so overall, I do think that 360 Total Security is a really good security platform. I especially like the feature where it actually blocked the Trojan from downloading on the back end of things, um, such as the back door. And um, I also do like the fact that it was preventing tasks from creating themselves and from running tasks. So it does have a lot of good features. In addition, the sandbox feature is a free feature included with the platform. So it does definitely add some um, stability there if you wanted to run those programs in sandbox mode. Um, so overall, I think it did pretty well uh, with the exception of those two files that are currently running in memory. Um, it doesn't seem to be affecting the computer, and possibly if I restart the computer, they could uh, potentially be removed um, from memory. So with that being said, that's going to do it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please do comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Um, also, you can check out my tech blog. It's techformality.com, and there's a contact button there in the top right corner. If you have any uh, messages or concerns you want to send to me, you can actually click on that button, and it will send me a form, and I will respond to you as soon as possible. And I appreciate you um, taking the time to watch my video, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.